Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and to part one of a two-part day and night makeup tutorial using the new Claire Obscure eyeshadow palette from Chanel's Fall Winter Collection. I wanted to create an easy everyday look using the palette, but also show how to create a more dramatic smoky eye as well. Both looks are now live, so stay tuned after part one for part two. Let's get started. To begin, I'm applying Laura Mercier's Oil-Free Tinted Moisturizer in lieu of foundation. This was sent to me complimentary from Laura Mercier to review, and it's perfect for everyday use. It gives decent coverage, some hydration, and since it's oil-free, it will last through the heat and humidity. Laura Mercier is known for her flawless face products, and the Tinted Moisturizer is a cult classic. I usually just apply this with clean fingers, but I'll layer a few extra dabs and stipple this out with a Sigma Kabuki brush if I need a little bit more coverage. Continuing with the light and fresh face theme, I'm going in with my YSL Touche Clot Pen Shade 1 as concealer. The consistency is so thin and luminous, it's easy to blend. It's really great if you struggle with dry under eyes or you prefer a more natural highlighted look. However, this trick is not necessarily suitable if you haven't slept, you're dehydrated, or you just genetically have dark under eye circles because the coverage is relatively minimal. For a quick everyday fix, it's great. I always blend my under eye area with a tapered kabuki brush from Sigma. To set, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This was also sent to me complimentary to review from Laura Mercier, but I've been using this powder for years. It's another one of those cult classic flawless face products from Laura. Regardless of what's new or what brands come out with, I always have one of these powders in my drawer. It just helps create a finished look without looking too dry or cakey or leaving a white cast. I love using a big tapered powder brush to apply because it's fast and I can get right under my eyes very easily. To warm up my skin, I'm using a new bronzer. Laura Mercier also sent me their Matte Radiance Baked Powder. It applies very sheer and then you can build up the color. I find that usually to be the case with baked powders. The tone is very warm but still looks pretty natural. The matte radiance powders are intended to give a soft muted glow and in the pan you can definitely see some shine but it diffuses out over the skin once you apply it. So if you prefer matte bronzers or you don't like shine or shimmers in your powders, this would definitely still work well for you. For blush, I'm using the 440 Quintessence Blush from the new Chanel collection. It's such a soft, pretty pink shade. It's also matte since, of course, the entire collection is supposed to be matte for fall winter. Even on a run-out-the-door kind of day, I like to highlight my face. So I'm going in now with my Becca Champagne Pop, which is starting to dwindle down in the pan. I use this highlighter just about every day, and then I switch it up, usually to my Chanel that's the same shade, for special occasions. And I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary here, just the tops of the cheeks, bridge of the nose, ball of the nose, and Cupid's bow. I went ahead and filled in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer off camera. And since I'm not tan, rocking my naturally paler tone, it looks crazy harsh. So let's apply some eyeshadow. Taking the beautifully basic Claire Obscure Matte Eyeshadow Palette from Chanel, I'm buffing the medium brown shadow in my crease with the fluffy brush. This shadow has a deeper intensity than my typical bronzer or what I would usually start with, but I'm going to start light, build up the color slowly. It's an everyday eye look, so I don't want it to be too dark. The eyeshadows in this palette are very velvety soft. They're pigmented, easy to blend. As I apply this shadow to both sides, when there's not as much product left on the brush, I'll start to go over top of what I've already laid down to keep it nice and smooth. Next, with a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to sweep this light tan eyeshadow all over my lids. It's so easy to apply and blend these two shadows together. The light shade just creates a nice soft base. And I'm taking the color up to the crease, inside and outside on both sides. And then I'm just going to blend the two together with my original fluffy brush. Using what's left on the brush, I'm going to slightly deepen the outer V outer lid on both sides. Using a small precision brush, I'm picking up the medium brown eyeshadow and I'm smoking out the lower lash line. Using eyeshadow instead of a pencil liner creates a softer effect. In fact, I usually only use brown on the bottom and then I typically use a black eyeliner on top to keep my eyes from appearing smaller. In this case, since I'm going soft and easy, I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette on an angled brow brush. Any small eyeliner or precision brush will do, and I'm going to etch this across my top lash line. 
This eyeshadow is a perfect eyeliner. If you don't think you'd ever use it on the crease or lid, it just makes this palette incredibly convenient and user-friendly. There really wasn't much fallout, but I'm going to quickly sweep away any dust from my cheeks with a powder brush before moving on. Next, it's time for mascara, and I'm still using my YSL The Shock, which was sent to me complimentary from YSL to review. Since we kept the eyes pretty basic, dramatic lashes give the look a more finished appearance. It actually makes your lashes look longer, and they can be more front and center since they don't have to compete with any bright, bold eyeshadow. So The Shock is perfect for giving lots of volume. It never flakes, it holds up all day, no complaints, except it takes me a little bit longer to do my lower lashes. But Overall, no big deal. I love the appearance of this mascara. For lips, I'm using a light pink nude from the new Chanel collection, 257 Discretion. It's such a wonderful everyday shade that still looks glamorous. The Jumbo Crayon de Color mattes are very easy to apply. If you like matte lipstick, at this point you're done. Now I like to have a shiny glossy lip so I'm going to quickly coat my lips with the Laura Mercier Lip Glossé in Baby Doll. It's a gorgeous light pink that's perfect over any lipstick. Laura Mercier sent this to me complimentary to review and I love how smooth and hydrating it feels. It's not too thick or sticky plus the shade range is gorgeous of these lip glosses. And that completes part one of the part two Claire Obscure makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this easy daytime look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Of course, all products are linked down below in the description box for your convenience. And up next is part two, a dramatic smoky eye using the same eyeshadow palette. So stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe for more videos.